Hello, very good morning, folks. Racing, folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my Sor Buddha. February the ninth, two zero two three races. Folks, I am losing interest in betting at my Sor Buddha. Too many garbage here, very all goes on. Because of my academic interest and passion for racing, I am doing this. I think I hardly will bet one race, a horse win and one horse place. That too. Now, on top of watching the horses, <laughs> I have to spend more time watching the betting trend and the bookies uh, thing. Uh, it's very strange, folks. Uh, nice horse called Ochre uh, from 1.85 goes to 5 to 1, 5 to 1, and the other first timer goes from 5 to 1, 2 to 1, and wins. This is my sword, folks. Actually, it's not my sword. This is Indian racing. You have to get used to this. Uh, Anyways, I think few days left. Uh, rather bet uh, Bangalore circuit than Mysore, depending on the odds and place. Uh, uh, going to the races, folks. First race, class five. It's a big no-no, but on the paper, the race looks like between two horses only. One horse called Chili Breeze, and another horse called Double Trouble. Double Trouble has a positive shoe change, and uh, last time had some issues. If uh, I'm sure the intent is positive, but Chili Breeze is a better horse in my opinion. But anyways, it's class 5B, folks. Anything mm, happens. Do watch the betting trend and all uh, before putting your uh, uh, tenor on this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> next race, folks. Uh, horse number one, Imperious, had a very bad saddle slip on both sides. Last time, I still finished uh, sixth. Maybe it'd be in the money kind of thing. D Admiral is another horse. And there's a horse called Squanto. It's by Empire. I'm not a big fan of Empire. Uh, these characters don't repeat. Uh, he won um, awarding off in a photo last time. He could be in the money. 50 grand always looks well, but doesn't do a damn thing in, in the races. Next race, folks. Uh, it's a bird century plate, 1200 meters, class 4. Uh, spiritual force uh, bled last time. She was quite consistent uh, for a light. Uh, Philly always uh, gave me money in place, but this time I won't bet because she bled, uh, even though some of them have some kind of medicine and all. There is a, it's a very, very open race of the day, folks. Uh, it's class 4, but more, some of the horses belong to class 5 anyway. This horse called Country's Fame. Uh, she is running consistently, can place. And a horse called Mystical Merlin that I observe. I'm, I'm not thrilled to put even a 10 rupees in this race, folks. I'll be honest with you. Next race, uh, race number four, uh, folks. Uh, a mile race for class four. This Samai Balwan is a very nice horse. After he won, I don't think they have even tried. Uh, this is a big problem with my sir. They, I, I, I don't mind losing, but then they, when the horse is not even tried, then your money goes down the drain, no, then it's uh, it's a very unpleasant uh, feeling, folks, you know. Uh, uh, NRI plan is there. Uh, there is a horse. <laughs> this is going to be another joke. Uh, there is a Munapa has two horses, folks. Great Hope and Sunlight Storm. Last time, Great Hope, I had lots of hope on Great Hope. He ran a dirtish because they tried, we went with Sunlight Storm uh, today. And Sunlight Storm also looked well, though. Luckily, I, I bet place money, I got saved. Uh, but that's not what racing is about. <laughs> anyway, today also the same scenario. I think uh, whichever gets betting out of these uh, two characters, Sunlight Storm and Great Hope. Uh, Sunlight Storm looked better, though, you know, and the Samai Balwan owners... Uh, you have to handicap their minds also, <laughs> whether they are really in the game or not. Next race is the maiden, three years old only, folks. Uh, some, uh, nobody has a very good uh, surface form, so only the paddock will kind of tell you. This is also called Mystic Bond, then there is Tom Cruise, there is Sparkling Knight, uh, I don't know, Ankush. But I kind of decide in the paddock only, these babies, it's a very goofy days. Ideally, folks, uh, small punter should not leave the race. Next race, folks, it's a, a decent race to bet. Uh, 
the race is uh, between two horses only. It's the uh, Pata, the Culplate, 1200 meters, class 2 race. Uh, theoretically, the race is between Mountain Lion and uh, and that Rakesh is horse, which lost as a 60 paisa favorite. Indian Patriot, uh, nice horse. Uh, uh, if he's on job, he could... Uh, he could upset. I, I, I decide or better Jody in the third one for place is the horse called Smart Cadillac. The rest of them don't seem to have a rousing form here. Now to the race, uh, race number seven, folks. Uh, 1200 meters, class three, always open race. Uh, there is a horse called Safina. She is also again been not tried and all. If the money comes her way, when place could be a good bet. There is a horse called Country's Light. And there's a horse called Black Coffee. Now, this Black Coffee character is a very interesting horse. Um, I think it got sold. Um, uh, had one few races in a row uh, about a year ago. He's very speedy. And uh, I don't know how training and all going on. But uh, we'll see. Safina, if on the job fully, it could be a good bet. Anyways, folks, uh, to be honest with you, it's really not the center to really bet money. Tomorrow is the Bangalore circuit, much better any day. Um, just have a time pass or a small bet just to keep your interest alive. Otherwise, to make money uh, in Mysore circuit looks technically <laughs> very, very difficult. You have to not only handicap the horse, you have to look at the horse, then look at the betting trend. And, Handicap is a trainer's mind, then the owner's mind. Then at the end of all this nonsense, if you get lucky, you make money. Otherwise, no, no, no. Anyways, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Good luck. Uh, gamble small and sensible. Uh, and I'll catch you for the Bangalore uh, pre-race pointers, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have a good one.